the Nintendo DS took the world by storm. Released in 2004, having a clamshell design, just like the Game Boy SP, except with two screens and the bottom one being a touchscreen, you have built-in Wi-Fi to be able to play with other people wirelessly and be able to chat with other people around you through PictoChat, the texting and drawing app for DS systems. There were three iterations of the DS family, the original DS, the DS Lite family, which featured a smaller form factor and a modern minimalistic design. Then we got the DSi family. Nintendo updated the design again with bigger screens, added a front and back camera for taking pictures and editing them on the system itself. Before being discontinued in favor of the 3DS, which launched in 2011, the original line of DS family sold over 154 million units, making it only second behind the best-selling system of all time, the PlayStation 2, which sold 155 million units. So first thing we're going to do is go to our computer, and the links are in the description below. But you're going to go to this first one right here and it's going to load up a mega link and you're going to go ahead and download this file right here this is a cia file to install and i'm going to go ahead and save it over here to my downloads folder for easy access And just like in my last video, we're going to go ahead and transfer our CIA file to our 3DS with FileZilla. I showed how to set this up in my last video, so if you haven't seen that, you can check that out right here. As for the rest of us, we're going to go ahead and continue right here with the tutorial. So we're going to go into our FTPD application. Let it load up and it's going to show us our IP address right here. Mine is that one. And remember yours is going to be different. So if you put this into yours, it's not going to work. We're going to put our IP address up here on the top left hand corner. And then skip to port. And we're in. So I'm going to go ahead and look for the CIA file I just downloaded and it's going to go in the CIA folder on the 3DS. Here it is, we're just going to drag and drop over, it's going to start transferring. And it's complete. We're going to go ahead and press B on our DS to exit. Go straight to our FBI application. And once we're in, we're going to click on SD card. Scroll down to CIA folder where we just put our CIA file. So we install quickly. And once it's done, Press A to go back and then click the home button to go to the home screen. You'll see a new application, open the present, and you'll see the menu updater. We're going to go into this one. Now once you go into it and load it, it's going to freeze for a minute and this is normal. Just hold off on it and then you'll see the twilight menu loader. You'll get these two options here for all the menus, release and nightly. We're going to go ahead and click on release to get the most stable version. Read this and then press A. It's going to download the loader and this is a part that might take a while. So go ahead and go make some coffee, go make a sandwich, go to Starbucks or go to Jimmy John's. I'm going to go ahead and speed up the camera for time's sake.
And once it's done, it's going to take you back to the updater menu. And then we're going to go ahead and press NDS Bootstrap. This will also take a while, but not as long. So I'm going to speed it up as well. At this point, the updater is done and we have NDS Loader, but we're going to have to add some games since there's nothing in it right now. So we're going to go back to our computer and open FileZilla so that we can transfer some games just like we transferred the CIA. So we're going to go back to FTPD. Put our IP address up in the top left corner again. Then port and then connect. So on here I have the games that I want to transfer over. I'm going to go down to the ROMs folder and then NDS. You might or you might not have this saves folder right here, but if you don't that's okay. But this is where we're going to just drag and drop our ROMs over. And once it's done, we're just going to go ahead and close out of everything since we are done with the computer. Press B to exit out of FTPD. We're going to go ahead and scroll all the way to the end. Uh -oh. so with this checkpoint, how to transfer saves, I'll make another video on it later. When you scroll to the end, you're going to have two twilight menus. The first one is the regular menu, which we just used to install it. The second one with a little square icon is the one you're supposed to boot into. It's going to go ahead and load the white screen. And for some people, it might take longer than others, but just be patient, at least the first time. And here is the DSI logo. We're going to press A, where we're going to be taking to the system menu. So in case you don't land right on the DS folder, I'm going to go all the way back to show you guys how to get here. So from here, we're going to go all the way down to the ROMs folder, NDS, and click our game. first couple of times it might take a while, it might create a fat file, it might create a save file, and then you'll get this NDS bootstrap screen. For some games this might take longer than others, but be patient because eventually the game does load in the back. You can see here in the video that the screen took a while before the game loaded, it flashed a white screen, and that means that the game is slowly loading. Thank <laughs> you.
eventually the game will load, so just wait it out a little bit. Most games shouldn't take this long, I think, but once the game loads, you just jump right in. We're going to press the menu button and we're going to change the language here to English for a minute. What's cool about this method too is that just like the original DS, it's region free. So you'll be able to play games from any region with no issues at all. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Thumbs up if you like it and if you didn't, there's that other button. Comment with your suggestions for future videos and subscribe for more videos like this for DS, PSP, and other mobile handhelds. This is Nemo signing out.